Hello, I'm Francisco Maria Calisto, and today I will be presenting our paper, Assertiveness-Based Agent Communication for a Personalized Medicine on Medical Imaging Diagnosis. Here we look at the question of how should AI systems communicate with humans in high-stake decision-making domains. In this work, we will address the medical imaging domain of breast cancer diagnosis. Breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer among women. Every year, about 10 million women die from breast cancer. These numbers are coming from 10% of suspected women from having breast cancer, and radiologists are yielding about 40% of false positives, which can lead women to unnecessary biopsies. Screening programs and novel diagnostic processes are promoting an early detection to reduce patient mortality. Although acquiring more images is better for an early detection, the amount of available data is influencing the burning rates of clinicians. AI can help here, decreasing the burning rates while reducing the medical error and time to diagnose a patient. But the black box nature of AI introduces a large element of opacity into decision making. Such problem can be solved by the introduction of explainable AI techniques. Recent works are highlighting how AI and outcome explanations together are empowering the aim of personalized and precision medicine. Despite the fact that recent advantages of deep learning are spawning AI systems with human-like performance, these applications are not designed to capture the variability of personal and subpopulation level of clinicians. Communication is essential to increase the reliability of an intelligent agent when providing a diagnosis to a clinician. One way to achieve that is by aligning the levels of assertiveness of the agent with the years of experience of the clinician. In this work, we present our study for applying breast screening AI in two conditions where clinicians will interact with conventional and assertiveness-based intelligent agent conditions, dividing them into conventional, assertive, and non-assertive trials. To compare these three agent trials, we conducted a within-subject experiment with 52 clinicians. Each of the 52 clinicians interacted with the three trials in a counterbalanced fashion. From a data set of 298 cases with follow-up confirmations, we selected 35 complete patients for this study, where the task was to diagnose three patients with low, medium, and high severities. Both conditions used state-of-the-art neural networks to produce classification of the patient severity, along with accuracy of the models. Let's look at the results. When we look at the diagnosing time performance per severity, clinicians interacting with the conventional conditional took more time to diagnose than interacting with the assertiveness-based conditions. Not only the assertiveness-based isn't affecting clinicians' performance, but also our study is showing a slightly increase of performance for assertiveness spaces. Overall, clinicians also prefer the idea of adapting the communication depending on the categories of medical professional experience. In fact, we also observe an overall increase of trust here. But now let's take a look on the behavior of expert and novice clinicians between a more assertive or more suggestive communication tone. In our work, we deliberate that expert clinicians are making better decisions when they receive suggestions instead of a more authoritative communication tone. On the other hand, novice users are more likely to behave better with an assertive communication. 
In fact, our results show expert clinicians are perceiving the known assertive as more reliable and capable, while novice clinicians are feeling the assertive agent to be more reliable and capable. Finally, let's take a look on the frequency of clinicians who are accepting or rejecting the AI recommendation between the three trials. Overall, we denote that clinicians are doing better decisions by adapting the communication time. Specifically, novice clinicians are increasing the rates of correct answers with a more assertive agent, while expert clinicians are increasing their correct answers when interacting with a more suggestive one. Similarly, for the overall mistakes, the assertive trial is reducing the medical error for novice clinicians and the suggestive agent for expert clinicians. Although we observe the same pattern of improvement for the overall mistakes, we also observe that both novice and expert clinicians are less prone for not following a correct AI recommendation with the assertive communication time, leading us to the following discussion. From our study, we could understand that not only communication should be adapted to the demographic characteristics of clinicians, but also to the capacity of an AI model to provide the correct answer. As we demonstrated before, the assertive term could be used in patient cases where clinicians typically fail, but the AI model is commonly correct. Therefore, it will be important to study the patterns when human fail, but AI models doesn't. From our interviews, we learn that providing the lesion details and relevance of the classification is crucial for diagnostic speed and accuracy. To better match the AI with the mental model of clinicians and provide better guidance, we should incorporate granular patient information from different model classifiers. This additional granular information could include its importance to the diagnostic while also customizing the communication depending on the various characteristics of clinicians. We found an efficient way to improve the communication between AI systems and human users. Our study is showing that the effectiveness of decision-making was improved by personalizing and customizing explanations, adapting the different communication terms to the medical professional experience of clinicians. The communication of the clinical arguments should also be adapted to the AI confidence. Ultimately, similar communication techniques of personalized and customized explanations are further useful for various types of medical diagnosis, such as skin cancer or pathology. To wrap up, the takeaways from our work are, first, personalization and customization of the AI outcomes is essential for high stake domains. Secondly, adapting the communication between humans with different expertise and AI systems result in higher performance and satisfaction of clinical users. Third and final, providing granular explanations by taking into account the medical experience of the clinician is increasing the chance of correctly diagnosing a patient. This work was possible because of the support from a large number of people from several clinical institutions in Portugal, such as Hospital Fernando Fonseca and Centro Hospitalar Traz os Montes e Alto Douro, between others, as well as researchers from universities and laboratories around the world, such as Instituto Superior Técnico, Institute for Systems and Robotics, Interactive Technologies Institute, and the Human Computer Interaction Institute from Carnegie Mellon University. For more information about this work, please see our full paper. Thank you.